What's going on guys? I'm about to tear down my personal Roosevelt and clean it. So I thought I'd share that process with you, how I do it. All you're gonna need is a T15 and a T8, some oil, some blue Loctite, and some alcohol. So first thing I do is I put the blade at 90 degrees. This is how I disassemble them and reassemble them. I think it's the best way and I always take the lock side off. So go ahead and pull these 256 screws out with the T8 Torx. And then the T15. Um, one pretty cool trick you can use with this knife or any knife for that matter is if you put a little bit of side pressure on the blade right here, it will keep the pivot from spinning. So usually 99% of the time, unless you just go crazy with the Loctite, you do not need two tools. So you can put a little side pressure, break that Loctite loose, and it'll come right out. So pull the lock side off. Let's take everything apart. There's actually a washer in this one because it's a carbon fiber scale. You won't have that unless you have a carbon fiber scale. What I do is fill the cap of my alcohol bottle up about halfway full. Throw my bearings in, my washer, and usually my pivot because it has some alcohol or some uh, Loctite. Sorry, that needs to come off. While those are soaking, I can show you if you need to take off your clip for any reason. It's held on. I have two dowel pins to align it, keep it from rotating, and one 256 screw. So I. The best way I've found to do it is loosen the 256 a few turns so the head's sticking up out of there. Press down to snap it off the dowels and it'll come right off. So to put it on, it's just as easy. Just snap it on to the two dowels. Put your 256 screw in. Tighten her down. You can tighten this screw and the backspacer screws pretty darn tight. I make my threads um, super close fit so that you won't have to worry about stripping them out and you shouldn't need Loctite on that or the backspacer screws as long as you do it tight enough. So grab a little alcohol here. Clean out the pivot holes bearing pockets the pivot hole where the bearings ride on the blade as well and then i usually just grab a clean t-shirt wipe them out you can go ahead and wipe off your stop pin also if there's any gunk on there I usually stick something through the pivot hole in the blade so I can clean it out also. <laughs> Try not to mumble too much in this video, but it's hard for me. Um, all right, so wipe off the pivot. Pop the pivot in the show side. Dump this stuff out. Dry off the bearings. Dry off the washer. Go ahead and pop the washer in there and clean off that old Loctite on the pivot screw. I like to do that every time just so you don't have a buildup of Loctite going on in there. All right. So I use nano oil, I've tried the KPL. I like nano better. So 
So I put three drops like that. Pop your bearing in. Put a little bit on the inside of the pivot hole in the blade. Pop your blade on. Three drops where the bearing rides on this side and then a couple drops where the detent balls ride. When I put the bearings in, I always put the open side, this side right here, facing out so that less dirt gets into the bearings. So that looks like that right there. Put a little Loctite on my pivot screw. Doesn't take much at all. <clears throat> I use the blue Loctite stick. I think it's less messy than the liquid. It takes longer to set up, but I'm all right with that. So now, Blade at a 90 degree, pop the lock side back on. You'll have to kind of hold some pressure down on it because it's going to want to spring off of there. Snug your pivot up. Drop these two backspacer screws in there. I usually run one down and then just go ahead and tighten the other one all the way. And you can dial in your pivot. So 90% of the time, I just snug it up, crack it loose just a hair. Um, but you can play with it however you want, as long as there's no blade play. I really wiggle it hard right here and make sure there's no blade play because nobody likes blade play and there you go i also like to put a small drop just right there you can see where the detent ball locks up on the lock face let's put a little drop right there There she is, clean, ready to go. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. It's about time I did one. Um, that's how I do it. I think it's the best way. Hopefully you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.